Hey everyone, this is Mystic with the Gunpla Network, and today we're going to be unboxing the 00 Gundam 7 Sword G. If you're interested in this kit, you can find it over at Canadian Gundam. Don't forget to use your code Gunpla Network to save 10% off your entire order. The 7 Sword is actually one of my favorite mobile suit designs. It's probably in my top three. But up until this point, I have not built one. So this is going to be my first 7 Sword. I'm very excited about it. This prototype version of the 00 Gundam gives us not only the seven sword upgrade, but also the addition of a brand new gun. I really like the box art to this. It shows every single weapon kind of tucked away, but definitely there. This side showcases all of his weapons with some really nice poses, some of his gimmicks and really cool articulation points. This side is just showing off some specs and has a really nice detailed photo of the front and the back of the Gundam. All right, let's open this up traditional style. The box did have a little bit of damage from shipping. I hope nothing inside is damaged, but it looks like very minor box damage, so it should be fine. We got the manual right on top here. We have a little blurb about Setsuna and how he plans on bringing basically world peace by beating the pulp out of things with a giant robot. And then a little information on how the Seven Sword was upgraded. It looks like the kit only has six runners, which kind of surprises me. I expected to see way more runners than this with the amount of equipment on this Gundam. It appears as though we're going to start working on his chest first, move down into his head and arms, then work up from his legs to his waist, start assembling all of his weapons. This manual is full of a bunch of little side stories and information. I wish I could read Japanese. Then there's this little flashback section, which actually, if you go to this page over here, you get a full genealogy tree. Here you'll see the Gundam Exia, the Jinx line, and the 00 Gundam, all which eventually lead up to this prototype. And lastly, we have the color correction guide. Here we have bag number one. bag two, and bag three. And then at what would have been the top of the box, we have this very beautiful, very shiny Canadian Gundam card. First up, we have this multicolored runner, runner A. We've got some red for the feet pieces. The feet are actually really detailed. Some yellow, some clear pieces. Most of the gun metal appears to be inner frame. It looks like we're going to get two closed hands and one open hand. Next up, we've got the entirely white B runner. We've got some arm pieces. It's shoulder pieces where the GN drives would be. The three backs of the hands, some weapon pieces. Another multicolored runner, runner F. This appears to be a mostly weapon runner. We've got some blue pieces for the big sword, I believe. Gun pieces. The pretty green pieces are for the GN Qatar. Next, we have an entirely blue runner, runner C. I'm seeing what looks like his embellishments on his armor. Runner G is entirely white and seems to have the rest of the big sword and a couple more smaller sword pieces. And lastly, a pretty decent sized PC runner. The sticker sheet isn't too bad. A couple of these pieces would have been hard for a high grade to have as a plastic mold, I understand. And the last thing in this box is the little bendy cord that's going to go to the GN Sword 2 short. I was a little nervous when I first opened the box and saw that there was only six runners, but after taking a closer look at them, I kind of feel like it makes sense now. A lot of the pieces are kind of big and bulky, so it just, it does make sense. I'm very excited to see how this comes out. I'm really hoping this is a really good experience for me since this is going to be my first seven sword kit. Let me know down in the comments, what three in order mobile suits are your favorite? 
I'll post mine down there too. Alright guys, I think that's it for this unboxing of the Double O Gundam Seven Sword G. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Stay safe out there guys, keep building, and remember, you are a Gundam.